buy carry on Johnson. So I'll be honest with you guys. I don't fully trust the Lions coaching staff to utilize carry on Johnson in a fantasy friendly way. They haven't called a goal line rush this year, but we probably know that LeGarrett Blunt's going to get the call when they're at the goal line. He has four red zone attempts to carry on Johnson's one this season, and within the 10 yard line, he has two to carry on Johnson's one. As it stands right now, LeGarrette Blunt is probably the goal line guy for the Detroit Lions. And then there's also Theo Riddick. The Lions have been very, very pass friendly to start the season, but Theo Riddick's 22 targets still represents over a 15% target share in that offense. Plain and simple, he's capping carry on Johnson's receiving upside. That's especially true in negative game scripts. Carryon Johnson has just been this do-it-all guy for them this year. That was to be expected. He's seen a little over 8% of Detroit's targets, about 44% of the team's carries, and he's playing about 45% of Detroit's snaps over the last two weeks. That's fine, but it's not great. So you're probably wondering, why should you be buying Carryon Johnson? Well, plain and simple, he's the best running back in that Detroit backfield. According to Number Fire's expected points model, he has a 51.7% success rate. That's the percentage of positive expected points runs made by a running back. That's also far superior than LeGarrette Blunt's 25% rate. So logically, and I'm trying to think rationally here, it just doesn't make a ton of sense for the Lions to keep rolling LeGarrette Blunt onto the field. And considering Johnson's still being utilized a bit in the passing game, an 8% target share isn't that bad for a running back, there's upside for him to be a legitimate RB2 this season. Now the problem, and this is the same problem that we run into with running backs all the time, is that talent may only take him so far. Coaches don't always think rationally. And my opinion on a player is not always the same as what a coach thinks. So if Detroit's coaches don't want him on the field more, then he won't become anything more from a fantasy perspective. But if they're smart about it, in my opinion, this could be the start of Carrion Johnson's rise. So I would shoot off some trade offers this week in an attempt to get rid of some depth for Carrion Johnson.